I'm Kip from Philadelphia. This is page one of Anderson's Fairy Tales by Hans Christian Andersen, The Emperor's New Clothes. Many years ago, there was an emperor who was so excessively fond of new clothes that he spent all his money in dress. He did not trouble himself in the least about his soldiers, nor did he care to go either to the theater or the chase, except for the opportunities then afforded him for displaying his new clothes. He had a different suit for each hour of the day, and as of any other king or emperor, one is accustomed to say he is sitting in council, it was always said of him, the emperor is sitting in his wardrobe. Time passed merrily in the large town which was his capital. Strangers arrived every day at the court. One day, two rogues, calling themselves weavers, made their appearance. They gave out that they knew how to weave stuffs of the most beautiful colors and elaborate patterns, the clothes manufactured from which should have the wonderful property of remaining invisible to everyone who was unfit for the office he held, or who was extraordinary simple in character. These must indeed be splendid clothes, thought the emperor. Had I such a suit? I might at once find out what men in my realms are unfit for their office, and also be able to distinguish the wise from the foolish. This stuff must be woven for me immediately, and he caused great sums of money to be given to both the weavers in order that they might begin their work directly. So the two pretended weavers set up two looms and affected to work very busily, though in reality they did nothing at all. They asked for the most delicate silk and the purest gold thread, put both into their own knapsacks, and then continued their pretended work at the empty looms until late at night. I should like to know how the weavers are getting on with my cloth, said the emperor to himself. After some little time had elapsed, he was, however, rather embarrassed when he remembered that a simpleton, or one unfit for his office, would be unable to see the manufacture. To be sure, he thought he had nothing to risk in his own person, but yet he would prefer sending somebody else to bring him intelligence about the weavers and their work. Before he troubled himself in the affair, all the people throughout the city had heard of the wonderful property the cloth was to possess, and all were anxious to learn how wise or how ignorant their neighbors might prove to be.